If you're like me, you probably think, man, it'd be great to be a gorilla. Lounging around the jungle, eating bananas whenever you want, and don't get me started about all that amazing body hair. Lush. But some apes have it hard. Stop! I'm awake! I'm up! George? George, time to get up. Uh, George don't want to get up. <laughs> oh, little me trapped in metal! <laughs> hey, George can feed himself. <laughs> uh, frog? Oh, super big. No, George, the frog is close. Now, it's just further away. Frog shrink! How it goes so tiny! <gasps> frog magic! <sighs> hmm, that's a serious snake jam. We'll have to untangle it and... Uh, ape? Help? <sighs> I'll get the soapy water. Ape! Ape! George, did you? How did you get a bucket stuck on your head? <laughs> How does George know if it fits? Uh, George no likey. It's just a spoon. There's no little George in it. Ah, little George scared too. Everything okay, George? George can't find way out. Turn the door handle, George. Tiny room filled with water. <sighs> Those were the taps, George. <laughs> What do you mean you just lost it? How do you lose your arm? It looking at me. It's meatloaf, George. I make it for you every Thursday. It alive? It's not alive. Then where it go, huh? Ah. Uh... It go home to meet friends, then revenge. And then the good jungle King George lived happily ever after. Good night, George. Good night, Ace. It's not that I'm sad, it's not that I'm mad, it's just that I wonder if I've sometimes been had. Just like a flower, I need room to grow, just like the wind, I need space to blow. A brain needs to think, a skunk needs to stink, but I'm like a pen that's run out of ink. I only have one question, but it's more than essential. I wonder, just I wonder, am I living up to my potential? Potential! Potential! What? No, no, no. That'll never work for a trip to Mars. You'll be pulled into Jupiter's gravity well. <laughs> there. Much better. Hmm. Knight takes queen in six. Ah! Checkmate! Now that's a pickle. But if you solve for the square root of x, then it's just an, an inverse, inverse polynomial! polynomial. Ah! Whoa! Hold on! It's okay. I just want to talk to someone with an IQ in the triple digits. I mean, have you seen Cuspid? Gotta love him, but he's basically a walking display of my failure. I figured maybe we could... Uh, Are you asking me out? Just to hang out and talk about smart stuff. I don't know. It's a stupid idea. 
One condition. No evil. No goody-goody stuff either. Pinky swear. So, do you like hyper chess? Never heard of it. Kidding. I invented it. <laughs> that we'd have the same favorite noble gas. <clears throat> <laughs> Where Ape been? Oh, you know, the jungle. Ape missed George drowning cereal, and lake on fire, and bathroom swim, and bedtime story. George even do meatloaf night himself. <laughs> Argon. Oh, what happened here? Oh, Doc, oh my gosh, thank goodness you're back. There was an imposter, but don't worry, I'm good. Where were you anyway? You missed video games and flossing. <laughs> and my birthday. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I was out counting trees. You know, one, two, three. <laughs> Wait, trees can't count. Hey. There's more than one, two, three trees in the jungle. What's going on? Maybe a death laser? You promised no evil. How about an eco-tank that shoots out trees? Ew, that's so goody-goody, I'm getting covered in brownie points just thinking about it. Hmm, if you've got a better idea of what to build this afternoon. Giant robot? It's a classic. Too easy. Make it a giant robot octopus and I'm in. Done! We've got about an hour until Cuthbert and George accidentally set something on fire, so that's more than enough time. Hey, how could you? Doc, why I never? Your doctor stole my ape! Your ape stole my doctor! What do you do about it? What are you going to do about it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we should work together and teach them a lesson. Yeah, but with who? And done. 48 minutes. Not bad. Who wants to take her out for a scuttle first? We know Ape and Doctor's secret. Yeah, we know it all. Cockpit, get out of there this minute. George, come down and I'll explain everything. No. Not till Ape and Doctor make up the George and Big Tooth thing for lying. Please. Forget it. No problem. It's only right. Something quickly! Part two 
idiots will explode themselves! And so, to save their best pals, Ape and Dr. Chicago quickly came up with an incredibly smart plan. <laughs> Into a, liquid. a plan so brilliant, so ingenious, so incredible, that it was far too smart for our writers or artists to think up or draw. <laughs> Phew, that too close for George. No kidding. I'm gonna need at least three fillings. We're just glad you're safe, ish. You know, George tests the limits of my intellect every single day. It's true. Without Caspin, my life would be far too easy. Ooh. Better, but too easy. Oh. Plus, you and I are too different to stay friends. Tree planting? Death lasers. Enemies again? <laughs> How did you get a bucket on your head again? The jungle holds many mysteries. How old is it? How deep is its heart? <coughs> what made that weird sound just now? And when an ape dies, how do his people say goodbye? That's Ape's Uncle Mitch, or at least a banana tribute to him. He was caught in a rhino flood, and as every ape knows, there's no escape from a rhino flood. I'm here at an ape ritual of sad feelings, never before seen by science. Nobel Prize, here I come. <laughs> Let the feast begin! Yeah! I'm here, I'm, I'm here. Did I miss the memorial? Ice creaming? Yes, yes, it appears I did. George won't try new Mitch flavor. And the circle of life is complete. <laughs> Waffle! So typical, bro. Late for Uncle Mitch's funeral? What's your excuse this time, huh? And don't say lifting, because I know you don't. Actually, Ted, George and I were testing out this. Oh, George inside egg! Amazing, isn't it? I call it my rhino flood emergency steroid. Now we won't lose anyone else in the rhino floods. Ah! Real apes don't hide in big dumb balls, bro. Ah! Big dumb balls, bro. Big dumb balls, bro. Real apes don't do watercolors, bro. Real apes don't ride scooters, bro. Real apes don't do historical reenactments, bro. <laughs> You're as ape as a grape, bro. Verily, do not let the rapscallion see my tears. How dare you! Come at me, bro! Stop, meatwalkers! <gasps> no legs! Super Superman! Oh. No legs born before legs invented. <sighs> oh, Uncle Mitch's silverback! Please. A silverback's the equivalent of an ape mullet. It's out of date, it's ugly, and it smells like farts. <laughs> what, am I right? Am I right? Come on! Oh my gosh, I'm not right! Ah! It was a terrible ape faux pas. If only Magnolia had taken a minute to watch the following audio-visual presentation. Many years ago, uh, before legs were invented, no legs was a true ape hero. For being an all-round simian superstar, the ape gods bestowed upon No Legs the world's first silverback. And since that day, a silverback embodies ape achievement in the simian trifecta of lifting, charging, and intimidation. Yes, a silverback is the icing on the hairy brown cupcake of all ape kind. Fine. Oh, Uncle Mitch's silverback. Silverbacks are a fine and noble ape custom. By tradition, your uncle silverback passes to the apest of his family. Although, for the record, I think you're all a bunch of lazy leg standers. Sorry, bro, but you're as ape as a grape. 
Lay it on me, bub. I am not the shape as a grape. <gasps> Someone just grew a pair of wheels. I am as ape as an ape. I challenge you for Uncle Mitch's silverback. Bring it on, bro. That right. Ape, bring it to Ted. Ape, bring it all to Ted. Huh? Indeed. What have I done? What have you done? You made this old ape happy. <gasps> oh, snake pants. Ever since we were kids, Ted believed he was twice the ape I was. But I, too, can beat my chest in a gorilla-esque fashion. First, maybe Ape Nut won't say gorilla-esque anymore. Second, George have planned to help Ape win Silverback. <laughs> ah! Get back off me! Ursula help find Ape Dinner Ape. Ah! Ah, my eyes! She has my eyes! Bad, Ursula. Give Ape eyes back. <laughs> First silverback challenge is... Yes, lifting. That's right. <laughs> Lift that! A termite? But it only weighs a minuscule amount. No! Go, 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 no! That was easy. <laughs> lift, 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 lift! I don't have... Challenge! Uh, uh. She means challenge two, charging. Ursula can count? Ape, roar! That! I don't see how charging at that will help. Now, Ape, roar! Go, 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 go! <laughs> My word, that felt quite primal. Watch out, Ted. You won't know what hit you. Um, ah! uh, how that help, Ape? It training. <laughs> Ursula Mink laugh laugh. <laughs> Perfectly preserved. No! You intimidate, intimidate, dater. Go! I am so sorry. Here, let me get that. Hold on. Is this Radiolis Florensis? What a beautiful statement. Ursula, ah! <laughs> 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 give up! George, think ape ready to. Apes, we gather here today to determine which of Mitch's nephews is worthy of his silverback. Ape. Or, ah, who are we kidding? Ted's gonna win. George, believe in you, ape. Be best ape ape can be. Ape mentor George. Now George mentor ape. I can do this. I can do this. I'll talk. Oh. Ted, ape, show me how you can lift. <laughs> Excelsior! Point to Ted. Challenge two. Impress me with your apiest. Charge! Right, here we go! Point to ten! Ape not have to do this. Ape always beat Ape in George's heart. Thank you, George. But this is my one chance to prove I'm as proper an ape as ten. I have an announcement. All your toes disgust me! Now, the last ape event, intimidation. <laughs> what do you got, bro? Uh-huh. Point for ten! Which means, Ted wins the silver bag! Oh, yeah! Feel the glory! George, sorry, ape. But like I said, bro, an ape is a grape. <laughs> Forget it, bro. This silver bag belongs on a real ape. 
I am a real ape. It belongs to me. <laughs> <laughs> ape, but you're also an awesome ape, if you catch what I did there. No idea, but I can live with it. Ape and Ted okay. Holy banana, ape silverback! You look good on ape. Hey, ape not busy. Want mark trees with Ursula Friday night? Truly flattered, but no. I never really wanted this. I just wanted respect. Ted, you should be the silverback in the family. Sweet, and all is right in the Broniverse. Hey, I totally mark trees with you. You can watch me lift stuff after. Hmm, what do you say? Dad, <laughs> Ursula, give Ted eyes back. <laughs> I'll be the first scientist to study a hyena feeding in person. Wait, that's the science me talking. Oh my gosh, it's gonna eat me! Oh! Yeah, but Abe. I don't care if he has nowhere else to live. It's disgusting. No time, Abe. Magnolia in trouble. <laughs> Step across that line. But why? Magnolia in trouble. There's no time to explain. So watch this short movie instead. Still being eaten here. Ahem. The movie, please. Oh, sorry. Was that my cue? <laughs> right. <clears throat> Many years ago, No Go Valley was known as Go Go Valley and was the vacation destination for the jungle masses. The resort was run by unicorns who used their magical powers of hospitality to bring five-star vacations to all. That is, until one simple snorkel blast changed everything. The unicorns flipped out, then kicked out. Uh, everyone, I mean. And Go-Go Valley became No-Go Valley, forbidden to all by jungle law. But what happened if someone crossed lines? Who cares? Help me! No one knows. But it's something terrible. And worse, it's against the rules. You cannot step across. Uh, Magnolia matter more. Stop! This is terrible! Why did I even get out of bed this morning? Hey! Me save you from breaking rules now! Hey! No problem! George never step across, so he no break rules. Be 
nearly crossed the line, and he only did so to save our resident genius scientist. <laughs> oh, me love your funny hat. <laughs> He's so tiny and cute. This isn't right. He barely broke the rules. <laughs> I will save it for the judge. Wow, George never been in jungle court before. So clean. <clears throat> Your Honor, while it is true George broke a rule, he only did so to save Magnolia. Surely you can't punish him for that. <laughs> The prosecution didn't even bother to show up. That means not guilty by default. Your Honor, I'd like to... <laughs> prosecution say guilty! Guilty? That's preposterous. 500 moons in jungle jail? That's even worse. I'm guilty too and must also go to jail? So we win? I didn't do anything wrong. Neither of us did. <laughs> I did tell it to the judge. Look it! New friend! George, we have to get out of here. We don't belong with these low lives. George likes jail. Guards tell George when to eat and sleep. <laughs> George always forgets. But we're innocent! <laughs> that's what they all say, bro. And that's what you get for breaking the rules. I've never broken a single rule in my life. Uh, are you getting a tattoo? Lemurs say it make me look tough. Arr! Pirate tough. Ted, you know me. I'm not a scofflaw. A what? A felon. Huh? A culprit? You can make up all the words you want, but you're still in jail, bro. But you've broken rules far more than I have. Oh, yeah? Like when? <laughs> But you heard me. <laughs> I told you. But that isn't our house. Ah! We're doomed. Speak for yourself, bro. But, but you're breaking the laws of physics. I don't care, bro. This bird's got to fly. Okay, well, I guess that's what you get for not breaking the rules. Ha ha ha! You can't win, bro. Ape okay? I've wasted my life. George, following the rules isn't right. It's wrong. Huh? We're breaking the rules and breaking out of here. Huh? Ah. Ape! Hurry up, George! But. Ape always tell George to be good and follow rules, so George can't escape jail. But tonight, meatloaf night. Mmm, oh, band-aid. Then you're on your own, George. I'll come see you at visiting hours. I owe you one, Bernard. Thank goodness we grew up in the same neighborhood. That escape. It was so exhilarating. Who knew being bad could feel so good? I wonder. Cowabunga! <laughs> hey, free jam! Personal high five! <laughs> <laughs> Seventeen, eighteen, twenty-two, fifty. Oh, thanks for spot, Ricardo, Adam, Horatio. Ha! Thanks, Diapers. <laughs> it's better on me than in you. I'm not supposed to do this, but ah, uh, it feels so good. 
I know you're not supposed to plug that up and see if it'll explode, but it sure sounds like fun. It's gone bad! Someone must stop him! We're that lazy king of jungle! Oh, that me! If George break out, he break rules. But if he no break out, ape break rules. But maybe it okay to break rules to help? Okay! George be bad for a good reason. Bubbles, Tony Log Pants, Honey Badger, George need clever plan to escape. <laughs> Burner worthy of a king, if I do say so myself. <laughs> George, you broke out! Fantastic! Doesn't it feel great? No, it hurt. It go bad, so must go back to jail to become good again. <laughs> I'm afraid not, George. I finally realized what I missed all these years being a goody goody. Hey! going to change. I'm a free ape now, and I do whatever I want. Like go into No-Go huh? Valley? Exactly! <laughs> ha! See? This rule doesn't even matter. Oh, my. Oh, oh, ah, please stop! Oh, I'm sorry! Oh, I'm sorry! Whoa! Shouldn't you help ape? No. Unicorns teach ape lesson. Oh, my sensitive bottom! But spanking go too far! Believe it or not, unicorns are horribly violent creatures. Who am I kidding? No one will believe me. George, thank you for helping me realize that rules are there for a reason. Like no-go valley rule. <sighs> Precisely. Oh, well. George do crime, he do time. You want French braid again? Okay, okay, no French braid. Friends, where would we be without them? Always there in times of need, never judging, forever supportive. Blah, blah, blah. But most importantly of all, true friends would never, ever tell each other the cold, hard truth. Say something to him. George no want to hurt ape feelings. Magnolia, tell ape. No way. Ursula? Ursula, ape him. Then we all run away. No, George like ape. Only hate ape cooking. I hope you all brought your appetites. I've been toiling in the kitchen all day to make everyone's favorite dish, my jungle jelly surprise. From these hands to your stomachs and then to all of our hearts. Can George have hot sauce? Hmm, I suppose. One moment. <laughs> oh, good idea. Magnolia's smart. No, oh, please. You got Ape out of the room with that hot sauce idea. Come on. George just wants sauce to burn tongue, so George no taste jelly. It's like stink badger. Eat skunk, then bleh on plate. One bottle of hot sauce. Mm. Oh, so good, we not wait for sauce. Wish there was more. Oh dear, I'm afraid I didn't have the foresight to prepare seconds. <laughs> Say it isn't so. No need to cry, my friends. I'll simply get started on my biggest batch ever. Why, we always go overboard. <laughs>
It's heartwarming what true friends will do for one another, isn't it? Meanwhile, out among the stars, a lone extraterrestrial is in dire need of a friend. But this isn't any run-of-the-mill extraterrestrial. Poor Carl. He thinks he's found a remote outpost of his own kind. Yes, his name is Carl. Narrators know things like this. He's a Jalesian from the Gelati Quadrant. And this is what's known as a Jalesian mind mode, by which he can share his thoughts and knowledge. Magnolia? Hmm, this looks like one of my... <laughs> Keep your lightning bolts off me, you darn dirty jellies! And so, George and his friends were press jellied into building a huge... Uh, something for the now intelligent and ornery desserts. Jungle Jelly surprise, he no kidding. How could they be alive? I mean, what's in that recipe? The more puzzling question is, where did they all come from? Ape make them all. <gasps> but you ate all my jellies, remember? Oh, that is tough one. We can worry about wherever they came from after we're free. The solution to our plight is simple, my friends. We shall band together and eat our jelly overlords. <laughs> There has got to be another way! No worry! George set Jungle free! Before Ape learned truth! <laughs> Hold on! I know I've got something in here about fighting aliens! Ah, got it! Just make jellies more angry! And make more jellies! Only one thing we can do! You mean? Yes. Eat. Why do you keep doing that whenever somebody mentions eating jellies? Luckily, before anyone has to tell Ape the terrible truth, something even more terrible happens. This day just keeps getting weirder and weirder. <laughs> had us building a gigantic vegetable steamer. These uh, asparagus wouldn't have stood a chance against it. Oh, do 
Too bad we smashed it. Maybe Carl come in spaceship that crashed a couple nights ago. You saw a UFO crash land in the jungle and you didn't tell anybody? George afraid you say he crazy. We never say. No, George right. He say he see flying saucer meet uh, him with club. Please, please, please have answers. Oh. I was kind of hoping for some alien super weapons. I record this sad tale as a warning to others. For millennia, my kind lived in peace and prosperity. But we didn't have the heart to tell our cooks that we hated their specialty, asparagus surprise. Instead of eating it, we hid it. As the eons passed, the asparagus evolved. Like so many leftovers that had never been refrigerated, they turned evil. They spread their disgusting texture, bitter taste, and startling effect on urine across the galaxy. As the last of my kind, I ask all beings to forgive us for creating such monsters. What? But if Kong was the last of his kind, where did all those extra jellies come from? Oh, jellies not extra. They yours. We, we all hate, hate jungle, jungle jelly jellies surprise. surprise. Why didn't you say so? Do you have any idea how much I hate making jungle jelly surprise? The main ingredient is wildebeest hooves, and providing them with running shoes in exchange is driving me bankrupt. I only made jungle jelly surprise because you all said you loved it. And, well, because... Oh, because you love us! We all hug his group now! We sorry. We no tell truth because we no want hurt ape feelings. Wow! If only we told each other the truth, none of this would have happened. <sighs> That's what real friends do. We lie to one another. Arr! Enough hug! Break up or me start clubbing! So, we're all good then? Except for aliens invading jungle. Should really get on that. Right. And their only weakness is their edible. Ah! George will need a lot of hot sauce. <laughs> Eat another bite. Oh. oh, alien aftertaste worse. Oh, oh, he's right. Blech. Those guys were disgusting. Almost as disgusting as apes. Right? Sorry. We are Sundacons from Sector Sprinkle here to enslave you. Maybe George have room for dessert. Oh. Oh. 